Good morning everyone, it's May 21st, Thursday, May 21st. I'm about to do your What's Cracking reading. Um, firstly, I want to say thank you to all of your beautiful support. I've so enjoyed reading your stories lately and of course talking to a lot of you. So I've been in quite a lot of personal readings. So I want to say thank you so much for all of your support. It's the work I love to do um, and you all know that um, <laughs> it's a real passion for me. So. Um, underneath the videos are the instructions for the classes going into July. June, the first three classes in June are booked now, um, but the last class still has a couple of places if you're interested in that one. Um, for July, I have moved the time forward a little bit. Um, this may not still suit you. So if you are interested in doing classes and the, and the time doesn't suit you, will you email me and let me know what sort of timing you want to do the next classes at? Because if I can do classes during the week, I might be able to do them early in my morning, which would be in your afternoon or the night before. So please let me know uh, what time would suit you more. Um, and I'm hoping to run those on a day other than Saturday as well. At the moment, because I work Monday till Friday, I've put the classes on a Saturday, but hopefully going forward, I'll be able to schedule those during the week. Okay, so uh, is that everything? Personal reading information's below because I'm asked for that often. Donations you can do via the page. There is now a donation on the Aussie Goddess page. Um, I think that's everything. All right, I'm using the Ethereal Visions Tarot here, which is I fell in love with a long time ago, and it's a, it's a hard deck to get your hands on, so it took me a little while to find one. And I've poured it out of the cupboard to use. All right, let's see how we go. We have the Two of Swords coming straight out. Now, this deck is absolutely stunning because it shows the traditional sort of pictures, um, but they're all embossed in gold. And as you can see, they are ethereal. So the, the Two of Swords is a card which talks about a decision. This isn't a decision someone wants to make because they've obviously got their heart covered there. They don't want to hurt. The moon behind them is only a quarter moon, so it means they don't really have all the information they need either. But they are trying to keep their emotions calm with the waters behind them. So they're trying to make a decision. The only thing is they know the answer here, but they're refusing to see it with their eyes closed and their body closed off. So it's someone who needs to make a decision, but is not moving forward. Is that a stalemate? Now, this decision could mean that there has to be more clarity to, to a situation or someone has to be cut out. That is what ha the swords represent. And this person's stuck between two, which means that there are two ways of doing something. But she's refusing to see it, giving rise to the idea there may be a stalemate here. All right, we have the, King, the Knight of Pentacles coming through here. So this is an offer coming through. The Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving knight. He wants to make sure that he crosses his T's and dots his I's before he moves forward. He wants to make sure everything's in order. So he takes his time. He's strategic. So whoever this is that's moving towards you, that you have some sort of decision to make, or if this is you moving forward and you're making a decision and taking your time, whatever this is, it's slow moving. All right, we have the Nine of Pentacles behind here. So for some of you, this may be about no longer being single, about moving into a relationship. It could be with the Nine of Pentacles that you've decided to go it alone. Maybe you feel that you have your own resources now and you don't want to really... Um, share them with anyone else. Um, it could definitely be that's why the decision is hard to make. We do have the chariot here. So it's possible that some of you can be dealing with a cancer. Um, the chariot talks about forward movement. So there's definitely something going on here. We do have the queen of wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, um, Leo, Sag or Aries, or someone who has the attributes of a fire sign. Someone who you find probably very attractive, um, they're very passionate, they're very in tune with their own intuition and they are ready for a brand new start. Um, strong Leo energy coming through on this card as well. Um, so I have someone moving towards you here to make an offer, but there seems to be for you um, a decision to be made around whether you accept the offer or not. Leo energy everywhere here. So you could be dealing with someone who's a Leo. You could certainly be dealing with someone who has very strong Leo in their chart. But if it's not a Leo person, they're actually taking on the attributes of 
that more leonine personality. So they are being like very forthright, very passionate and driven about what they want here. So someone is very, very determined. Now, for some of you, it could be an offer of work, um, certainly could be work. Um, because we do have this nine of pentacles here. So it could be that you're being offered work or a business or a contract for a business um, with this nine of pentacles. Um, but the main thing here to consider is, you know, whether or not you want to take this opportunity or whether you are going to move forward and do your own thing. Because there's a very strong feeling here that you are holding the decision back for some reason so i'm not quite sure why you're holding back but we can have a look oh well there you go that answers everything doesn't it how can a tower look more beautiful than that i mean seriously <laughs> okay the tower is here this is what i'd say your two of swords is about sometimes when a tower happens it can take us by surprise so it can be you know that Im immediate thought epiphany re revelation something that can knock us off our feet but it can also be a, a physical occurrence it can be something happening perhaps this person's coming out of the blue to make this offer perhaps you didn't think you'd see this person again perhaps it's a person you didn't expect coming in um, whatever it is here something to do with this tower has really thrown you because you're trying to work out now if this what is what you want or not so something's really helping you now to break down how you want to move forward in your life. This is giving you the opportunity to make a choice on how you want your life to be. Um, but you're definitely being thrown out of this tower. So you're definitely being thrown into a new way of being, a new way of doing. Um, the tower is always good. It may not be good at the time, but what comes out of it is always good. And often it's a new way of doing it. It's so much more of a benefit to you because it helps you to move in a different direction. That's why the two of swords. All right, so we have the star coming out after that. So I can tell you now this is all fitting in beautifully with your destiny, the way the universe is trying to push you forward. Um, the star card talks about feet. It talks about healing and it talks about um, destiny. And I feel like here for some of you, perhaps you've done quite a lot of healing and perhaps somebody's now coming in. You've got yourself to the point where you're ready for someone new with the Nine of Pentacles. So maybe you're ready for someone new, but you're not really sure whether to move forward on this or not. All right, so I have the Page of Swords. Well, that makes me think that someone's been keeping a little bit of an eye on you for a while. Um, the Page of Swords talks about a truth that needs to be spoken or communication that needs to be made. Um, this page has their sword up high, so they're ready to communicate, but they're not looking in your direction yet. So it may mean they've been sort of watching you, keeping an eye on you, but they're not ready to follow through. Now, the Page of Swords is a card of, um, you know, something, just sort of some sort of um, message gift something very small just to see whether you're actually even interested here so it could be that somebody's just calling you up to you know ask you out for a coffee perhaps have a bit of a catch up with you but i feel this person has greater motives here i feel that this person understands their destiny with you here but they're not going to say it straight off they're going to give you a very tentative let's catch up all right so we have the two of pentacles coming in here so the Two of Pentacles talks about finding balance. Now this card here, you can see the waves behind her. Now the waves and the water always represent our emotions. And in this card, they're quite sort of wavy. So whatever this situation is, you're finding it hard to get your balance here. You're finding it hard to really understand how you're feeling, what you want to do. All of those things are going through your head now, I think because of this tower. Now, it could also be, um, you know, the, the whole whole idea of um, embarking on something with someone new, someone who perhaps, as I said, you either don't know or you are really unsure of. Maybe they're, they're completely different to you. Maybe you just didn't expect, you didn't expect something from someone perhaps who, maybe someone you know, 
um, could be someone from your group, could be someone from a friendship group, it could be somebody who um, has some sort of knowledge of you here because they've been watching you. But I don't think you thought this person would ever come forward. Okay, let's keep going. Ten of Swords here. So we're closing out some sort of cycle here. So for some of you, it could be someone. Oh, we have the Devil card. Oh, my goodness. Again, how can a card? Look at it, how beautiful that is. Um, it is the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn was always presented as a goat. So it seems inevitable that the devil would come that way because the devil was always represented as a goat too. So um, now the Devil card here can talk about obsession it can talk about um, codependency, ego. I have a strong feeling this person has very, very strong, either a strong obsession with you. Yeah, especially with the Empress card coming up. Okay. They may be really feeling very lusty. <laughs> very physically drawn to you here. Maybe that's why you're a little unsure. Because sometimes when people come in and they're really over the top with us, we perhaps would get a little bit uncomfortable with that. Maybe you don't trust this energy with the devil card. Um, it's very possible that um, we have a lot of major arcanas coming out here too, by the way. I think it's very possible here that you're not really sure whether this person is real, whether they're presenting a real person to you or not, or whether you're getting the ego. You're not really sure whether this person has more physical attraction than romantic or long term. OK, let's find out. OK, so we have the four of wands here. Does that answer your question? This person is totally in love with you. They want something long term, totally long term. Seven of wands. I think that they have felt this way for a very, very long time. You just didn't know about it. Five of swords coming through here. So we have someone here, I'll read this again and we'll go back and read the cards. I have you trying to make a decision here. I feel that someone's come in that maybe has not, you haven't seen them for a while, maybe you you have never had a relationship with this person um, and I feel that you've sort of got your life in order here. It's like you've got your ducks in a row. Um, there's forward movement with the chariot and the queen of wands coming up here. So I feel very strongly that you're dealing with someone who may be a little overly passionate Whoever this person is, they feel very drawn to you, but they're not sure of why they're so drawn. I think that's why they've been trying to work that out with this page of swords. Maybe they've sort of become a little bit um, obsessed. Now, I don't want to scare you off because I don't think this is creepy <laughs> by any means. I just think this person is probably a little bit... Um, a little bit smitten with you because they haven't had perhaps a romantic relationship with you. But let's put it that way. Um, I don't think it's someone that, that you've had a relationship with before, but I do think that you have some sort of tie through your community, maybe your friends, um, through friends. But I feel like you know who this person is. But there's a feeling here that you're a little unsure of whether to accept this offer or not, um, because perhaps this person's not going to give up. So let me say that. So if you were to say no, they'd probably not stop at no. They want to, they want to do the right thing by you. But I feel like somehow or another, this person's presenting in a way that makes you wonder if they're not sort of just physically out for, and somebody might like that. Let's face it. I've had that said to me before. Well, you know what? That's entirely up to you. <laughs> you go about this. But I feel because this person is coming forward and you're not really 100% sure, you're a bit on the fence whether to accept anything from them. Okay, I have the Queen of Swords coming out here. And I also have the Five of Wands. So I feel like there is this sort of feeling here where you're being very, very assertive with this person because you're unsure of whether their offer is real or not or whether they are... Um, just sort of around for um, maybe physical purposes rather than having a relationship with you. I want to say to you their intention is very clear with the four of wands here, very clear and the star. This is a relationship that is destined to be but I think that because it's coming in the way it is and because you don't know this person really well there's a strong possibility you may be put off by 
they're perhaps maybe a little over the top with their communication, um, but they are certainly, uh, they're certainly somewhat obsessed with you, see you as the empress. So they may be a bit worshipy, they may be a bit physical um, in terms of the way they present themselves, but because there's so much Leo energy here um, with that fiery passion, I feel that um, it's possible that this person may be just not either mature enough to show their uh, the way they're feeling in a way that's perhaps a little bit more comfortable. Um, but this person is certainly come, coming across as wanting something more. Um, they're not giving up. They're going to fight for you here. I feel with this Queen of Swords here, you may be taking on the energy a little bit of, um, you know, questioning, uh, being a little bit more interrogating, digging a little bit deeper because you're trying to work out whether this person is right or not. The thing is, I mean, if this person's right, they're not going to back off as soon as you're honest, okay? Um, I think that's really important because sometimes we think if we speak up and we're honest with people, they'll back off. But if somebody really does, is interested in you and they have very strong characteristics, they won't give up on the first, first push back. I do have the Andean Cross coming out here. And it says it announces the start to a great journey. It's time to raise your game from the mundane day to day to which up until now has seemed beyond your grasp. Allow new wisdom to guide you and stop trying to make sense of it all before you re respond with a resounding yes. So the universe has sent you this person. It's definitely some sort of relationship that has been divinely guided to you. Um, don't say no straight away. <laughs> At least interrogate this person and make sure you're on the same page before you move forward. And if it's just a sexual thing for you, look, at the end of the day, it's probably going to go somewhere anyway. So whichever way you treat it is entirely up to you. But if you want a, a relationship, I think here with this Queen of Swords, you may just sort of pursue the questioning a little bit. <laughs> you might interrogate this person, but they have good intentions. Have a wonderful day.